Welcome to Turkey Point Provincial Park, where we will explore cycling, hiking, and beaching. Join us. Turkey Point Provincial Park is located in southwestern Ontario within a short drive to Lake Erie. It is located in the village of Turkey Point in Norfolk County. Although it is not directly on Lake Erie, it is only one kilometer away from over two kilometers of Lake Erie Sandy Beach in the village of Turkey Point. Final leg of Lake Erie, we're off to Turkey Point. It's only 45 minutes away from... Port Burwell. Yeah. Here. We just go and fill on our way here. That's, that no, that's dump. This is water fill. They're oh, separate. Okay. And then we go down here. Um, we can go here, but we can't go this way. We have to go all the way around. And we're 182? 182. Cool. Whipper well. Okay, let's do it. Okay. nice that the fill up station and the dump station are two different locations so it's not going to hold you up but there is only one fill up spot it is threaded so we put the filter on and there's a bit of a line to fill up right now you hit the trailer dump station on the way out it bypasses the main gate there are two dump spots both with threaded hoses and two potable water fill up spots both with threaded hoses This is our fifth park on our Lake Erie tour, and this is by far the nicest site we've had so far. It is really big and open. As Cheryl says, we just don't have enough stuff to fill it all. Turkey Point has three campgrounds with a total of 117 electrical sites and 115 non-electrical. This is Whippoorwill Campground with 50 electrical sites and 54 non. This is Finn and Feather Campground with eight electrical sites and 14 non. This is Walking Stick Woods Campground with 59 electric and 47 non. I love the smell of this campground. It's all pine. I wish we had smell o vision. We're in the area now of the drive-through electrical sites. There's 24 of them in this park, and they're some of the biggest drive-through sites I've ever seen. Since I've been talking to you, I've been walking through the site the entire time, and I'm still walking through the site. This entire park generally has very large sites. I'm standing on the road now, looking through site 35 and where you see our bicycles that's the other end of the site two picnic tables per site and somebody left a nice little cabin in the fire pit these vault toilets are throughout the campground they're rather primitive and a little bit stinky there are two playgrounds There are three group campsites and they can accommodate up to 50 people. This is group area two. All the group sites are non-electric 
and they're definitely for tenting only. There are vault toilets and a water tap nearby. There are two comfort stations with toilets and showers, one in Whippoorwill and one in Walking Stick Woods. There are three hiking trails for a total of 6.2 kilometers. A big area of the beach is for the dogs. We're at the beach right now in Turkey Point. And what I like about this is it's got that old fashioned um, beachy feel. You've got the little shops and restaurants on the street. Reminds me of when I was younger. You just have Honeymoon Sweet Wave Babies or Mitchell Patio Lanterns playing in the background. I wish more beaches were like this. It's a very busy beach, uh, especially this year because it's 2021. And uh, from Monday to Friday, the Ontario parks are open free access for day use. Mm -hmm. And the beach here at Turkey Point is uh, right in town and it's the Ontario Parks area of the beach, so it's busy, everybody's coming in and taking advantage of the, uh, the free pass to enjoy the beach. Mm -hmm. But it's nice, so you just park in the parking lot and you're right on the beach, you don't have to walk very far. I think when we hop in the truck, I'm gonna try to find Honeymoon Sweet Wave Babies. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me, that's one of my favorite songs. Turkey Point is a paradise for mountain bikers. In through the park and around the park, there's 78 trails for a total of 81 kilometers of mountain biking. It's all maintained by the Turkey Point Mountain Biking Club. Let's go inside, let's check it out. This is gonna be awesome. Oh my God, that's it. I'm much too old and much too fat for this. It's all you get for the mountain biking trails. I'm done. We're checking out the Burning Kiln Winery. It's about three kilometers from Turkey Point Provincial Park. About five kilometers down Lakeshore Road from Turkey Point Provincial Park is Innisfere Wines. You gotta stop in here and get a load of the view. Maybe have a glass of wine. You don't even need to do that if you just wanna come and have a look at the view. But uh, it's stunningly beautiful. Now, if you're burning skidwood, 
like we always burn. You want to make sure it's skid wood that's not treated with any chemicals. And you can read on the wood, they stamp it on the, on the skids as to how it's treated. What you want is something that has HT on it, which means heat treated. Here's the HT. So that means it was heat treated. There's no chemicals on this. It's great for campfire wood. You can bring it into any provincial park and you can even bring it across the border. So I'd like to come back. Spectacular uh, view of that one wire oh yeah. we're at. I'd like to come back with friends to camp here for a night or two just so that we can uh, do some wine tours. Mm -hmm. That'd be all right. This is a uh, very family friendly park. A lot, of, a lot of kids. A lot of kids. Yeah. Um, and that makes sense because it's, it's kind of all about the beach here. And, uh, and it's a great park for that. Lots of playgrounds for them. Yep. Lots of room to roam. And this is the finished popcorn. It is so good. There's nothing like fresh popcorn over an open fire. Here we are with Cole's Notes for Turkey Point Provincial Park. And I really like this park better than I thought I would. Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, we looked at reviews and stuff before coming here and we only made it uh, a two night trip in our Lake Erie journey. Mm -hmm. But uh, should have made it a bit longer. Yeah, it's it's a really nice park. The the big thing I like about this park are the actual campgrounds itself or the, the campsites. Sites. They are nice. They are large with all the tall pine trees. Um, they have a nice smell. There's a lot of butterflies here, no mos hardly any mosquitoes. And there's not uh, flooded sites like we've had in some previous parks. Yeah, this, uh, we've been around the entire park and there's uh, a lot of sites that are very large. Most sites are quite large. Now, there's not a lot of ground covering here because of the tall pine trees, but that's okay. You, you get a little less privacy, but you're not on top of the neighbors because the sites are huge. They're very nice. Yeah. If you're a mountain biker, this is probably a nice park for you to be at. Yeah, there's mountain biking trails outside of the park that go through the park um, and they're really good trails. Uh, you want to be properly equipped for it. I went out for a little ride. I wasn't properly equipped. I didn't have a helmet. I kind of have an old not so great bike. I just did one little trail. I meant to only do it for a couple minutes. Got lost out there a little bit but it eventually led me back to where I needed to be. Mm -hmm. Playgrounds. And the playgrounds are really large. Now they are very old-fashioned playgrounds. Yeah, this park is an original. It's older amenities, older playground equipment, but it's still good. Yeah, I think that's kind of what we like about it. It really gives uh, an old-fashioned kind of feel. Mm -hmm. And the town of Port, uh, sorry, the, the town of Turkey, Turkey Point, Point itself, um, down at the beach there, it gives an old town beachy feel mm -hmm. uh, and we really enjoyed that and what I, another thing I liked is the parking is right at the beach so you're not like hauling stuff forever right if you, you have to run back you just are right there it's yeah you so park close. right there you can just you know walk 10 meters and pitch your uh, your umbrella and your chairs and plunk down and you are good to go at the beach and they also have um, you can bring your dog on the beach to, to uh, there's a certain area, but your dog has to pretty much be on a leash. And that's a, busy with dogs. Yeah, that's a pretty big uh, dog beach area. It's, yeah, it's not tiny, so lots of room for the dogs, and the dogs seem to like it. Yeah. They were visiting one another. <laughs> now, a couple things this park is lacking. It doesn't have a visitor center. The no. store is a tiny little thing. Just upon entry, yeah. But you have to know what you're getting into. When you come to Turkey Point, you're coming here. It's a great family park. It's uh, it's fun to go to the beach. And that's what this park is all about. Mm -hmm. um, hiking. We did some hiking today. Yeah, we did a nice hike. Got uh, lost because the uh, signage, again with the signage, there wasn't enough 
um, arrows to tell us where which way to go. So we got lost. Yeah, we, but ended we found up, our way back. We ended up going on a side trail, but we ended up finding mm -hmm. our way back. So it was okay. Yeah. Um, and there's not really much in the way of kayaking. I mean, people do take their things onto Lake Erie at the beach, but that's not what I consider kayaking. <laughs> right. And actually, at the beach, the uh, the water was really calm. So a lot of people were out there. We saw canoes out there. We saw. Um, stand-up paddle boards, mm -hmm. uh, some windsurfing. Uh, so there was some, some water activities there and a lot of motorboats coming in. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a motorboat, you can bring it to this park because Turkey Point has a boat launch and it's free to use for the uh, campers. So what do you think we should rate this? For a rating? Uh, I think uh, I would rate it a, a little less than Rondo, mm -hmm. but I would make it higher than the other Lake Erie parks we've been to, yep. uh, Long Point and uh, Port Burwell. Yeah. So I think maybe a seven and a half. Yeah. Yeah, seven and a half. Seven and a half. So the rating for Turkey Point Provincial Park is seven and a half. That it is. And that ends our review of the Lake Erie parks. There are more parks on Lake Erie. Mm -hmm. We're just not going to them this year, but we've done five of them. Yeah. And next, we're going to be going to Valens Lake Conservation Area for a few days just to try that out. And then we're heading up north to the provincial parks. We're going to be going to uh, Murphy's Point, Bon Echo, and Silent Lake. Looking forward to it. Yeah, that's a three-park trip that we're going to be doing all at once. So we look forward to uh, seeing you then. And uh, if you do see us at the parks, approach us. We love talking to people. We love meeting new people. And uh, we'll see you out there. Bye. Bye. It's always